Hi Raven users, welcome to the Raven 3.7 quick start video. We are going to show you how to utilize batch gestures to assign any hand gesture to a batch command. This is more useful than the previous UPDD gestures as those can only trigger one key command at a time, where now you can trigger up to a thousand key commands with a hand gesture. So let's begin. Once we launch the DAW in the Raven software, We'll want to open the dashboard and under settings, we'll want to open up UPDD gestures. In here, we will actually want to disable all of these gestures so that we do not get a double gesture once we've assigned it to a batch command. So I will set all of the taps to no action. As we don't want that triggering this key command and a batch command. Under drags and swipes, we'll disable the drags and swipes. And under pinch and rotate, we'll disable rotate left and right. We will leave on pinch zoom and we will leave on the squeeze gestures. Next, we'll want to assign some batch gestures. First, we'll want to do a gesture for a three finger drag right to zoom into the selection and fit the track horizontally to the window. So we'll open up one of our panels here. I'll push and hold fit selection to screen. Now under the quick list tab, users will notice a gestures option. So we'll select three finger swipe right and we'll map it to this batch command by hitting the select button. You will now see under the batch command area the batch command that is mapped to. Hit close and confirm. Now when we make a selection with a three finger right, we'll zoom in vertically and fit the track horizontally. Next, we'll want to be able to zoom out the session with a three finger drag to the left. So push and hold the fit entire session to window batch command. In the quick list, we'll do a three finger swipe left, close and confirm. Now when we do a three finger drag to the left, it zooms out the session. This makes it really easy to navigate and just zoom in on a quick area, make a small adjustment and then zoom back out. Now let's assign some editing batch commands. So for mute selected region, we'll push and hold this batch command. Under the quick list tab, we will select rotate counterclockwise and we will map that to mute selected region batch command. So make a selection, three finger drag will zoom in. Now with one rotate left with two fingers, it breaks and mutes the region. Now let's make a custom batch command for trim and fade. We'll push and hold a batch command. We'll hit clear all. I will give this a name, trim and fade. Then I'll hit the key command button. I'll do command T, which trims in the edges. And then I'll do control command F, which adds a fade. Next in the quick list, I'll assign the rotate clockwise gesture to that batch command. Now select the region and with the rotate right, it's going to trim the edges and it's going to add a fade, as you can see here. Let's map a couple more. So I'll take these fade in from cursor batch commands. I'm going to make this a four finger swipe right. And the fade out, I'm going to make this a four finger swipe left. So now we'll find a region here. I will break this region. I'll make a selection, four finger swipe right, fades in, four finger swipe left fades out. Now one of the most useful commands is undo. So I will clear out a batch command here. I'll do key command, command Z, undo, give it a color. And in the quick list, I will make this a three finger double tap. Now I can undo quickly if I happen to mess up. Another useful one is just a simple play. So we'll push and hold a batch command, clear all. I'll do space bar, call this play stop. Give it a color. And in the quick list, we'll do a two finger tap, play stop. Now I can play my session and stop the session. Now we could take this a little further. Maybe you want to do a batch command that makes a bunch of new tracks. So you push and hold the new audio track batch command. And maybe we want to repeat this four times so that it has four new tracks. And in our gestures quick list, 
we will do a four finger swipe down and assign that to the batch command. Now with a four finger swipe down, makes us four tracks. And now we can go assign some recording batch commands. So layout one I have set is our editing and session setup. Layout two is gonna be our quick recording layout. So what I'll do, I will find my recording tools panel. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna push and hold the panel name and save it to the user panel quick list. I'm gonna switch to layout two. I'm gonna push and hold this panel and in the quick list in the user tab, I'm gonna overwrite this with my recording panel. So we'll wanna do record and input enable. I want this to be a three finger swipe up. So now any tracks I select, I three finger swipe up and it record and input enables those tracks. Next, we actually wanna start recording. So record, we'll map this to a three finger tap. And we'll map play and stop to a two finger tap. So now I'm able to select the track, three finger swipe up, record and inputs enable it, three finger tap to start recording, and now, if we want to do a new playlist and record, we'll push and hold the new playlist and record batch command. In the quick list, I'll do a rotate clockwise. I'll map that to new playlist and record. And undo and record, I will map this to rotate counterclockwise. So now I can make a new playlist and start the recording by rotating right. I could punch out with a three finger tap, punch back in, and I could stop with a two finger tap, make another playlist and start recording. If I messed up on this take, I can just two finger tap to stop, rotate left to undo and start the recording again. Now, if we want to do some vocal stacking, we could do the disable record, scroll enable record batch command. This is actually gonna disable record, scroll down, enable record, start recording. We're gonna make this a three finger swipe down. So we do our recording here. And when we're ready to double, just three finger swipe down, scrolls to the next track, record enables it, and starts the recording. Now the great part about batch gestures is they save per layout. So even though our recording batch commands are on layout two, and a rotate left and right makes new playlists and undoes and records, when we switch back to layout one, these are gonna be still mapped to our editing batch commands. So I can still mute and trim and fade and undo with those similar gestures. Now, once you have mapped all your gestures, be sure to save the Raven session. I like to use the date. Now, once that is saved, every time you open up the Raven session, it's gonna load up with these custom map gestures. Now, if users don't want to custom map their own gestures, you could load our default gestures. So go to settings and under the switch default layout, just select the gestures layout. And now you could use our custom mapped batch gestures. Next, let's talk about the new autosave feature. So previously, users used to have to hit the save layout button and overwrite the layout. And they would also have to hit the save Raven session button and then after saving, go into settings and hit set user default. You will now notice there is no more set user default button as the last Rabelais that you save will automatically become the user default at startup. So I'll go into customize. I'll move around a couple options here. And I don't need to save the layout. I'll just hit layout two. I'll customize this layout. Now when I go back to layout one, it remembered all my locations. I'll simply save the Raven session. And now I can go ahead and close my Raven session. And now when I reopen this Raven session, it's gonna open exactly how we left it. This auto save feature saves a couple steps in saving, and it also will allow users to get up and running with custom layouts faster. All right, hope you enjoy it. Have a great one, bye.